This is such an amazing time you know, to be a scientist, to be a researcher, when you think of everything that's going on right now. Science and technology really are, are to me, an amazing point of time. But as a planetary scientist, what I'm really excited about is the fact that I think we're so close to finding evidence of life beyond Earth. I'm Ellen Stofan. I am the Undersecretary for Science and Research at the Smithsonian Institution, and I'm a planetary geologist who studies volcanoes around the solar system. I've had so many influences that have shaped my career from my parents. My dad worked for NASA. He was a rocket engineer. I went to my first launch when I was four years old. My mom, who was a science teacher, and they both supported me from the time I was a small child. But you know, my struggle was I didn't see women who were scientists. So growing up, I, I was like, could I be a scientist? Because it doesn't seem like women do that. And I used to love stories of Katherine Johnson, Jane Goodall, and Mary Leakey out there doing groundbreaking cutting edge science. And I think having a role model, having somebody inspires you is so important. And that's what we try to do at the Smithsonian Institution is really think about how to inspire the next generation of innovators and explorers. You know, to me, when I think about diversity and inclusion, you really have to think about what those words mean. You know, diversity. We need everybody in the room, no matter the color of their skin, their gender, their background, you know, where they grew up, where they came from. Why do we need that diversity? Because we're trying to do really tough things. We're trying to help solve climate change. We're trying to keep this nation safe. And you need those diverse viewpoints because you need people to come at a problem from all kinds of angles if you're actually gonna solve it. So diversity is, to me, a no-brainer. We have to have it. We know it leads to better solutions. I think it's really important to have ambitious goals and, and to maintain that sense of curiosity. And to me, nothing more talks about that than Apollo. It took investment in basic science. It took investment in technology. But we did the impossible. This country rose as a team to accomplish that. And so when I talk about the importance of going to Mars from a scientific point of view, we want to understand did life evolve there three and a half billion years ago. I also think of that goal, returning humans to live on the moon for periods of time, getting humans to Mars to search for life. Those are important goals that will help cause us to invest in basic science, in basic technology, to help the United States become a leader around the world, but also ultimately benefit our economy. Investments in science and research are investments in the future of this country. You know, the work that's done here at NGA and around geospatial intelligence, you know, I'm sort of the other half of that dual use coin. We use some of the same technologies to look at the Earth from a different point of view. I use them, you know, radar images, topographic data to understand how volcanoes work. We turn those same technologies that are used here and we use them to study planetary surfaces. We use a radar uh, to look at the surface of Titan. So really thinking about these technologies that are so important for keeping us safe here on Earth and the work that's done here, we can use those same technologies to learn more about our planet, and not only that, to put our planet in the context of all the planets of our solar system. I feel so incredibly lucky because I've really been able to see space exploration up close from witnessing rocket launches. The first one I went to, I was four years old. I saw the Voyager spacecraft that have now left the solar system launched from Florida. Uh, I saw the space shuttle launch. When you see a spacecraft that you know is headed to Mars, it, it's just an amazing moment to me of human triumph. Look what we can accomplish as humans. And, and to me, it's this incredibly positive spirit. It's inspiring, it's awe-inspiring. And so our job at the Smithsonian is to figure out how do we bring those moments of inspiration to everybody.